Are modern car engines a total mystery to you? Does it feel like you need to read a car's mind to find out what's wrong with it? Well, good news, you can. These little gadgets are OBD, or onboard diagnostic readers, and will dig into your car's ECU and can help you work out what is wrong with it. If your car was made since 2004, or 2001 if it's a petrol, then it will have an OBD port. The scanner links up with your car's central computer and reads the fault codes that are stored there, if there are any. These codes will then give you an idea of what the problem is with your car, and then you can work out how to fix it. Some have their own screen, and some link up to your phone to give you a result via an app. The even better news is that they usually start from about a tenner, although you can spend hundreds of pounds on them. And even better than that, we've done a load of the hard work by rounding up the best ones you can buy. One crucial thing to remember, if you're going to use Haynes Autofix to its full potential, then you will need one of these. The OBD port itself is usually tucked away beneath the steering wheel. It could be immediately below, or it could be to one side, and it might be behind a little panel. Failing that, it might be low down on the centre console, in front of the gear lever, or in the passenger footwell. Wherever it is, it'll look a bit like an old TV SCART socket, with 16 little holes for the pins on the reader. One place you are unlikely to find it is in the car's handbook. Car makers would rather you take their vehicle to them to have them diagnose any problems, and then charge you lots for the privilege. Here is our pick of the best OBD scanners out there. The iCar Pro Scan is about as cheap as you can get for an OBD fault code reader. You get a dongle that plugs into the port on your car, and then you have to download an app for your phone to get the results. There are several apps that you can use to get the results from the iCar Pro Scan. We went for Car Scanner, which you can get on Apple or Android phones. It was tricky getting the phone to pair with the scanner initially, but once it was up and running, it worked well. There are memory and freeze frame functions to get a snapshot of the data, and you can also get live data and even live performance data, so you can leave it plugged in while you're driving. It's got a memory function, so you can compare your scan with the previous one too. At around £13, including postage, the iCar Pro Scan is great value for money. Overall, the iCar Pro Scan is simple to use and will perform the basic functions that many will want from a scanner. However, rivals have more features and their own screens. Despite that, it is a Haynes recommended product. The snappily named 7728 from Laser Tools is simple but effective. It has a small screen, which means you'll press a lot of buttons to go through the various menus, but it comes with some decent functions like the ability to turn off the engine malfunction indicator light and the VIN check. It lacks some features though, there's no live data display or the ability to freeze the screen. Shop around as you might well find it cheaper than the RRP. The Laser Tools scanner simplicity is in its favour and it will do most of the basic things you want it to do. However, that small screen isn't great and rivals will do more for a similar price. The Streetwise is another basic reader, and like the Laser Tool scanner, is almost too basic to justify its price. You get a few handy functions though, like the freeze frame and VIN check, but there's no live data feed. In many ways, it's similar to the Clark reader in terms of its menus and how it operates, but it doesn't have quite as many features. The fact that the Streetwise allows you to freeze frame the screen is in its favour, but it is expensive and you can't use it on hybrid cars. It doesn't make much sense to go for the Streetwise reader when this Clark model exists. They're very similar in terms of their menus and systems, but this has a little bit more data available. It adds live data, and there's some insight into the readiness of a car's emissions control system. The menus and the controls are pretty basic. Like the Streetwise, there are only two buttons, so you have to do a lot of scrolling and button pressing to get around the system. Those fiddly controls and small screen could be better, but on the plus side, the Clark has a good number of features and the ability to look at emissions. It might be the cheapest wired scanner on this list, but the motor power is surprisingly impressive. It has a good sized screen with lots of information on it and a menu that is easy to navigate around. Like most of the other readers tested here, it comes with a printed set of instructions but it's easy enough to work out what does what, so you probably won't need them. We particularly like the clear display and the back button that saves you having to start from the top again. 
The motor power also features VinCheck, freeze frame and real-time curve, which displays sensor data in a graph form. So there isn't much wrong with the motor power. It's good value, has a decent sized screen and has a good number of features. It's our Haynes Best Buy in this test. You might pay a bit more for the Sealy than some of the other scanners we've tested here, but you do get a few more features. As well as a colour menu that's intuitive to work your way around, you get a dedicated vehicle charging system test feature, live data, VIN check, freeze frame and more. All this is packaged up in a rugged, good quality casing. The Sealy has a good number of features and feels built to last, but you do have to pay a bit more for it. Draper is a well-known name in tools and this is the cheaper of its two OBD readers but it still lives up to the brand reputation. One slight annoyance is that the buttons beep every time you press them but you can turn that off in the setup menu. It can do plenty of things too, like give you a vehicle ID check, VIN check, tell you the ECU software version, show live data, perform a tool self-test and it comes with a USB lead that lets you update the code reader's firmware. As with its bigger brother, Mode 6 gives you additional system monitoring and you can access information on the emissions control systems. The Draper is well built and has a good number of features, but it is pricey and that beeping is a bit annoying. That's a minor point though and it doesn't stop it being a Haynes recommended scanner. If you want an OBD scanner with all the bells and whistles, then this is the one to go for. It can do everything that all of the others here can and more, including giving you an insight into the car's emission control systems, showing O2 sensor info, and it has EVAP system test capabilities. It also has permanent code retrieval, onboard monitor test, reads fault code pending data, DTC code lookup function, and lets you reset the oil change indicator. It really can do pretty much anything you might want it to then, but you have to pay for it and have to be certain you want all those features as cheaper options might well do the job just as well. The Draper system is packed with features and has a large and easy to use screen, but it is the priciest system here and can do much more than many users will need it to. So in summary, if you buy any of the EOBD scanners in this test, then you're likely to be happy with the amount of information they can tell you about your car. Three stand out as being particularly good though, with the MotorPower OBD2's low price, features and good size screen helping it to bag our best buy award. Draper's full code reader has a better build quality and has more features than the MotorPower, but you'll have to pay a premium for it. We also recommend the cheapest device in this test, the iCar Pro Scan, at just £13, because it can be left plugged into your car's EOBD socket and used to display live engine performance data. But remember, to make the most of your OBD code reader, pair it with your car's Haynes Autofix to diagnose and repair all sorts of faults on your vehicle. Autofix's electronics diagnostics module goes far beyond what commonly available fault code readers offer. Find out more at haynes.com autofix or search for Haynes Autofix.